Okay guys, Brad Flynn here, and we're gonna continue talking about the different names for the different parts of an income statement. They all mean the same thing, and it gets a bit confusing sometimes. So now we're gonna look at the operating expenses. So this is the line that comes below the gross profit. Gross profit, of course, is income minus cost of sales. Now we're gonna look at the terms that are used for an operating expense. Remember, your profit and loss is your report card, how you played the game. So first thing, a shortened version of operating expenses, you will sometimes see this called OPEX, operating expenses, so OPEX, nice, short, simple. Probably one of my preferred terms because I don't like to speak too much, so I use short words. Next thing we will hear it called sometimes is your overhead. And the best way to think about this is it's a bit like your rent. Okay, it's what's gonna keep the roof overhead for you so that you're not out in the open. The last term I want to talk about that we use sometimes is called fixed expense. Okay, so all of these things are an expense, which means money goes out. Now here's the thing though with what's in the fixed expenses, operating expenses. It's a cost you get to operate your business, which is why it's called an operating expense. You have to pay it whether you get a sale or not. Rent, insurance, wages, those sorts of things. Your materials that you supply to a client should go up in cost of sales, not in the materials item down here. Okay, really important distinction that you should talk to your accountant about. So this is where your fixed expenses go. Make sure you've got things in the right place and are doing it consistently so that when you do look at your report card, you've got quality information to understand what's going on. So subscribe down below, pick up the cheat sheet if you haven't got it where this is all on the one page, plus of other, uh, other information to help you out. And uh, if they haven't re, uh, already signed up, there is a free course that I do, 30 minutes a day for seven days, and you can do it over the next seven weeks, one 30 minute session over the next seven weeks. I promise you, you will know more about financials by the end of that course than 90% of business owners, because it's not that complex. These videos and short stories and templates in here are gonna help you understand it. So thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you're learning a bunch of stuff, and I look forward to you on the next video.